Hello, uh, welcome to my summer online session of the business finance class. I'm Dr. Chen Li, and uh, I have taught this class both online and face to face many, many times. I'm very excited to start this semester with you, and uh, I'm pretty sure we'll have a great learning experience together. In this video, I want to give you a tour about this class on this online platform so that you can have pretty good ideas about how to get the important course material, including the lecture notes or the lecture videos, and uh, how to take the exams online, and also how to work on the homework or, or assignment online. So first, I'll show you around D2L, and then I'll show you how to work on the online homework, which is in another website. And I'll also show you how to use the Remind, which is an important communication tool that we want to use this semester. So let's get started. First, D2L. The fact that you are watching this video now tells me that you already can log into D2L and access this class. So when you look at this class on D2L, you see un under the content browser, um, several blocks here and uh, i highly recommend you to check out the first folder which is about the introduction to this class so i have the syllabus and uh, a introduction file on how to join this class on remind and i also provide the web links here so that you can access the textbook companion website or to sign up on remind Please read the syllabus very carefully and understand all the course requirements and policies and uh, get some good ideas of what we need to do this semester. When you are ready to start, you can click on the folder of lectures and access all the lecture notes for all the chapters that we will cover this semester. You can also Click on the folder of video lectures to watch the lecture videos. Each video is about 15 to 20 minutes, and usually there are two or three videos for each chapter. Whether you should use the lecture notes or the videos, that's actually up to you, because different students may have different learning styles or preference. Either way, I have both the notes and videos uploaded here, and they can help you to understand the important topics that we cover this semester. There are some other features you may need to know or need to use on D2L. First, you may want to set up the notification. Click on this icon next to your name and uh, then click on the notifications and you can provide your email address or your phone number so that you can either receive the notification by email or by text. So once you set up the notification, you can receive notification about updates in this class, including new contents, uh, grades, or announcements. So if you have not done that yet, set up the notification so that you would not miss any important update in this class. Next, let me show you how to take the exam for this class. It's quite straightforward. If you look at the calendar here on the right side of the D2L page, uh, you see that under the upcoming events, the first one here is about the first exam. By the time that first exam is available, which is between 8 a.m. and 10 p.m. of Monday, June 10th, you click on this link and uh, it will take you to this exam. And then you just click on here and uh, you can start from there. You can also click on the assessments and then test and then click on the exam that you need to take. Please be advised that all the time or deadline set up 
in this class is by Central Standard Time. So, for example, 8 a.m. here is 8 a.m. CST, Central Standard Time. Um, I understand this is an online class and you may or may not be in Texas. So, if you currently are in any other time zone, make sure that you finish the assignments or take the exam according to the deadline under the Central Standard Time. Usually, one day after the exam is over, the grade will be available on D2L. For example, after the first exam on the 10th, by June 11th, 10 a.m., the grade will be available. Then you can just click on the link here and it will take you to your grade. You can also click on the progress and then the gradebook and check your grade from there. Now, let me show you how to do the online homework. The link to the textbook companion website is provided on the syllabus. Also, also under the folder of the first class introduction. So, click on the link. It will take you to this website where you can sign up and join the class. So, you may want to provide your email and uh, start the registration process. During the registration process, it will ask you for the access code. If your book comes with the access code, simply provide the access code. Otherwise, you can purchase the access code in this website. After you register, you can log in. You will see all the assignments like this. So, as you can read from the syllabus, we have two types of assignments. Let's use Chapter 2 as an example. For Chapter 2, we have a Learn Smart assignment and we also have a practice set. For the Learn Smart assignment, click here and you can begin the assignment. It takes some time for the website to load. You can click on the practice icon here at the lower left corner and start the practice questions. As you see for chapter 2, there are 60 items or say 60 practice questions. 60 questions may seem a lot, but if you study the chapter and then uh, look at these questions, you realize these 60 questions are very basic. So, for example, the question you see here is which one of these is not one of the four basic financial statements? If you know the answer already, you can click on I know it and then click the answer that you think is right. Well, I think the statement of ratio seems weird. So, I click on this and uh, I'm right. So, okay. You've answered all of the questions relevant to the topics you've read about so far. You can continue to practice if you want to, but if you do, you'll get questions about sections you haven't read yet. You can actually close this, and then you notice you only have 59 items left. If you look at this question, which of these accounts are included in the net working capital, and uh, you are not sure about the answer, you can give up for now and it will provide you the right answers and the explanations. Because you just gave up, you realize this number does not change. So, this number will only change if you finish a question correctly. Now, with this question, rank the assets in order of liquidity and uh, if you don't know how to answer this question, you can actually click on this little icon here, which says read about this. So, when you click on that, it takes you to the part of the textbook, and you can read the highlighted area. And once you read this part of the book and get, and get some good ideas about how to answer that question, you can click on the practice and go back to the question. This is to show you how to work on the Learn Smart assignment. Now, if you click on here and go to Report, 
and click on the current learning status. Now pay attention to this column of completion status. Since I just showed you how to work on the assignment by successfully working on one question, I finished one out of 60 and I have 59 questions left. So I finished 1% of all chapter 2 questions. And your goal is to make this number 80% or above. Once you finish all these Learn Smart assignments, you may also want to take a screenshot or just use your cell phone and take a picture of this screen so that you save a record of your completion status just in case that you need to show me your completion status because somehow sometimes the website has some glitch so that from my side the percentage number I see may be a little bit different from what you see here. So save a record of your completion status and email me this picture if necessary. Most of the time you don't have to, but just in case. So this is about the Learn Smart assignment. You can leave the smart book here and also try the practice questions. We can start here. Well, it seems that the questions on the practice set are more hardcore calculations. Just for demonstration, uh, if I have no idea how to work on this question, I just make up some number. I think the networking capital is about 90. And uh, I can actually check my work. And apparently, my number is not correct. So then, I can return to the question and try again. Let's just say for this question, I still have no idea, but I want to know how to work on it. So I can actually try to click on this score answer. It will tell me that once I click on that, I will be graded on this question. Apparently, the number I entered was not correct, but I can see the explanation about how to get to the right answer. This helps me to learn how to get the right answer. And then I can move on to the next question. You do not have to worry about losing the points because you can submit this assignment many, many times as long as you submit them before the deadline. And once you submit once, you can see the right answers. If you want to try again, the next time, you may be assigned with similar questions but different set of numbers. So you will have to use what you have learned to practice and try to get the right answers. After each submission, from here you can see how many points you got. So apparently this time I got 0 out of 120 points. But you want to achieve enough points so that you get at least 80% of all the points for this chapter. For each chapter, either you work on the Learn Smart assignment and get 80% or above completion, or you work on the practice set and get 80% or above of all the points. Either way, you can get one point from that chapter. Just for great purpose, you do not have to work on both. But actually, I will recommend you to try both and uh, use a Learn Smart assignment to review the important topics for that chapter and then use the practice set to get comfortable with the hardcore calculations of that chapter. So for chapter one, as you see, there is only the Learn Smart assignment because there is no calculation involved at all in chapter one. Hopefully by now you have some pretty good idea about how to start the online assignments. At the end, the last page of the syllabus, I gave you the deadline of submitting the or, or completing the assignments. So for example, uh, on Monday, June the 10th, that's when the assignment for chapter 1 to 3 are due. One week later, 
chapter four and five, the online assignments are due. Make sure you remember the deadlines of finishing the online assignments, and、um, one day after the deadline, I will have the assignment grades available on D2L, and you can check the grade there. For the last part of this video, I want to show you how to use this communication tool, Remind. Click on the link; it will take you to the sign-up page. Put your name and your phone number or email address, whatever you prefer, here and sign up. Once you sign up, you can also download the Remind app onto your smartphone, and、uh, then you can receive the important class announcement or news from the app or from this website. And you can also text me from the app or from the website if you have any questions or request or. Any concerns about this class? On their website, remind.com, you can check out information such as how to set up or change your notification for this class this semester. If I have any important information or I want to send you some reminders, I will send them out both on D2L and on Remind. If you want to contact me, you can either email me or text me on Remind. Ah,、uh, whatever that may be a little bit more convenient for you. However, I will not discuss grade on Remind. And、uh, if you want to discuss your grade by email, you have to email me from your email account that is on the university record. So this is the introduction video. Again, welcome to this class. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me, and I'm here to help you and to answer your questions.